Hello everyone, happy Monday. Um, today is the 6th of May and uh, it is my son's birthday, the last year before he becomes a teenager. So it's my eldest son and oh my god, uh, that's something to, uh, I guess, to enjoy and to be uh, feared, I assume. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's 12 years old. My uh, my youngest son um, on the fourth of July will be nine years old. So next year it's going to be extremely, in as a parent's view, extremely scary and extremely uh, nerve wracking because I'll have one that's going to be ten and one that's going to be thirteen, and yeah, that's just it's not floating my boat. Anyway. Um, a quick shameful promotion still, and then I'm going to crack on with a bunch of stuff you really don't want to miss. So, I still have some of my, um, Lest We Forget, um, rounds going. Um, and the prices are on Silver Form and also on Metals Mafia. Um, I have the, uh, last one here which is um, a 2.4 uh, ounces Troy, number 005. This is the one where I actually put it into the uh, the mold and I had the mold on a tilt and I was trying to get a wave effect and I got it. So that's the last pronounced ace until I make some more. And that's up for sale. And I still have a few left of what I call the fat aces and uh, some people who have now bought both, um, they actually prefer this, but hey, it's everyone's choice. So, with uh, with that shameful promotion out of the way, um, of those, um, I was going to show you a few other things. Um, so, recently I was digging through some stuff and uh, I had told everyone, or I mentioned to at least a couple of people, that... Um, I actually have these just in the side uh, in, in one of my jars waiting to actually be melted and to be refined. Um, but uh, I decided to save them uh, and I'm quite glad I did. So the oldest one I have here is um, it's dating back to 1834. It's a 925% uh, silver and it's uh, an old shilling. And I put it as a good condition because Quite clearly, as you can see here, you're missing the uh, the back of uh, where it would say one shilling. But if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see everything else is in you know exceptionally uh, good, you know, good condition. Um, yeah, eighteen thirty four. It's pretty scary, huh? Um, and then. Uh, We'll quickly fly through these because I don't want to, you know, waste time with them. I have an, an 1879, uh, a good. All these are all 19, uh, uh, what you call them, 925% uh, uh, percent silver. Um, and I'll probably either give them away a gift or I'll sell them. So this, this one I just wrote is okay because quite frankly, she's a bit missing stuff. 1866, I mean... I'm still surprised that she's looking the way that she is. Um, 1887, a good, maybe good plus. And uh, yeah, I think that's a, a really good one. Another 1887, uh, I wrote very good because everything really does pop out and you can see everything in detail. Again, it's nine nine two five silver, um, and these are my own markings. So I mean, I'm not any, you know, expert when it comes to it. But you know, I just wrote that as good, you know. Um, again, another good one. You know, you can make out mo you know most of what you like. Um, more prominent features on different bits. A good plus. 
There we go, focus. Um, good plus, again, this isn't really doing any detail because you can actually see the raised ridges. And uh, yeah. So as I said, I'll, I'll, most likely I'll be selling these off just, you know, very cheaply. Uh, but the 925 Silver, and if you like a bit of history, then uh, make sure you get in contact. So keep a, a date in mind and something. Uh, 1896, I wrote it was very good. I mean, you can see here. And it really is a very good condition coin. Um, 1899. This is one little mark, which is a bit annoying. A little bit of wear, but yep. Yeah. 1900 exactly. Nineteen oh two. We have a king here. Nineteen oh six. Also nine two five. Anything in the UK up to uh, nineteen twenty. So nineteen twenty and below were nine two five silver. So it's actually kind of relieved that I found these and saved them. In nineteen oh seven, that one. That's uh, going back a while, and uh, over 100 years old, 100 and, uh, 2019, wow, 101 years old, and uh, I'd be happy if I was still looking like this, wouldn't you? But yeah, so, these are what I've saved, I've, uh, as I said, um, it's over. Or, or just under three ounces of the actual metal weight. Um, so I would say probably, I don't know, with 925, just as a rough guesstimate, uh, that would be about um, two and a bit ounces or something um, of gold. All right, so one of the things I like to do is, uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, before I forget, so I wanna show you guys what I've been doing. Um, I also have one last thing I'm going to be putting up for sale, and these are the um, uh, British Commemorative Society. Now, only 5,000 of these were minted back in the 1960s, and then a, a, a very chunky, you know, 45 millimeter capsule. And, um, you know, the BGS had worked with uh, the Franklin Mint, and uh, they're about 41. Uh, 0.17 grams or 1.32 ounces each of pure silver and uh, they're also um, all from the same exact set um, I'm just trying to see if was that out there it's quite difficult to find hold on see the capsule Just edging carefully to, there we go. 438. So all of them, each set is marked with, um, you know, uh, an individual serial number for the sets. So 5,000 sets were minted. This is set 438 out of 5,000. So I think that's pretty dang cool. Um, and I have one to six. So I have, um, <clears throat> this one here is the very first one. It's number one. Uh, and that's William the first to proof. And it's just toned. And then as, as you guys know, I am more of a magpie. Uh, this is the, um, Magna Carta and 438 will be on the side somewhere. Um, I'm just trying to speed this up. Uh, this is the Nelson. Uh, 
Um, this one here is the uh, Centennial um, Confederation one. It's a uh, John uh, A. McDonald. And of course, we have uh, Winston Churchill. I think his design is pretty much the best one, you know, in the back, in my view. Um, and then we also have Shakespeare. So, and in the back, it has, um, you know, the lovely, lovely, lovely poem. Uh, you know, all the world, uh, sorry, all the world's a stage, uh, and so on and so forth. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> you cook it up. But anyway, so it's a full set of six, uh, that I am selling. That's something that if you are interested on a serious basis, please get in contact with me. They're all encapsulated. Um, and I'll send you as much information as I can with that. So... Let's have a look at the final bit here, guys. On. All right. Here we go. So I've been collecting a bunch of banknotes. <coughs> Excuse me. These are some of the modern ones. I, I can just spend these tomorrow. Just to give you an idea what, you know, like a, a British five pound note looks like. Uh, a 10 pound note and a 20 pound note if you are living across the pond. Um, and, uh, it's all pretty cool. Now, these were some of the old fashioned, uh, one pound notes. Um, we also have a Bank of Scotland. This is current, by the way. Um, I think I'm going to actually have to move my camera. I apologize. I don't want to really get the light in the way. This is, I can spend this as well. I have a 10 pound and a five pound. Uh, if we flip that over. You can get the idea there. An old uh, shilling. Now look at these numbers here. This is what I like to show you. So Alpha Whiskey 257 double uh, six three one five. Alpha Whiskey 257 double six three one six. So these are still a very old, but they're consecutive numbers. Um, I have a Canadian dollar here. I have a two Canadian dollar here. Um, I have a, an Italian uh, lira, 500. A thousand lira. Uh, I, mean, I have a, even Japanese governments, you know, $10. Some of them here that I have, um, I finally... No one's helped me out with this, so I decided to do it on my own. Uh, so that's fine. That's cool. I don't mind that. So I got myself two different uh, silver notes here, um, and I'm happy with that. Um, this was a gift. Uh, it was a $2 uh, from Debbie uh, B, and I thought that was super cool. So that is in my collection as a perma, you know, perma collection. I also got myself a silver $5, a, I don't understand what this means, the red, um, so someone please help me out with that. The red certificate. Um, another um, a silver $10 note. Um, so that's pretty cool. I want to get... So I already have a five, a one. I don't know if they do a two. Um, but there's the gold ones I'm really desperate to get a hold of. Another old bank note. Another lira. Another... Uh, government I think that's my duplicate page uh, another 10 shillings got some really old ones here um, from various countries um, so you know I have 500 denira a thousand denira um, you know another thousand denira uh, some you know Turkish money uh, Bank of Iraq on top here um, 
the list i'm just gonna kind of let you mull over this a bit because honestly the list goes on and on and on and some of it is spectacular like you know look look how small some of the notes get for like indonesia and stuff um i think that's uh an old uh chinese one you have a a japanese five cents um, and that is like just super super cool honestly it looks like monopoly money um and you know we just kind of collect it and one of my favorite ones and it's, it's probably my favorite because i like to um i like the design and of course i'm following with the african wildlife series is uh you know, uh, the 20 South uh, African dollar, um, which uh, is in my mind, just spectacular. It is something that it's just beautiful. So I do have uh, plenty of notes, um, nowhere near as much as I would love to have. I'm trying to build upon that. I have some more that I need to stick in my folder. Uh, but anyway, so this has gone on for a while. These are the uh, six again, um, the British Commemorative Societies, and uh, as I said, I mean, you're looking at what six, 18. I mean, there's yeah, <laughs> there's almost 10 ounces of silver here, um, and I'm happy to do a deal with that. Um, you know, something obviously that I would, uh, you be happy with. If you are interested in any of these, um, honestly, just let me know. Um, and uh, as I'm bouncing around silver, I love silver. Uh, don't forget that uh, there are still my rounds available. I'm still making more rounds. I'm still making new stuff and I'm developing my own skills. Um, but you know, it's all just super awesome. Um, anyway, again, a massive thank you, um, for sticking around. If you have done, it's, you know, the time's been quite a while. Um, but, uh, I am working on my website. Hopefully I'll, I may or may not put it, put in a store because it is only a hobby and I don't want the, the hassle of a store, but I do like to, you know, to give back and to do stuff. Um, uh, I know that Dave and Susie, you guys have an envelope on the way. Some, um, the Gilson clan, you guys also have a package on the way to you. Um, I'm not going to name the other two people who have just recently bought stuff because that's kind of your privacy and your own business. Um, but, uh, yeah. So let me, let me know guys. Um, as I said, I'll, I don't know if I should kind of do an auction, obviously, or something like that. Um, if you are interested in some of the silver, but obviously you, you might not be able to afford it. Um, Cause I know the pouring of silver is, you know, can be expensive. Um, I am happy to take in, um, you know, just generic silver rounds um, as part payment or it depends. I mean, I strike a deal. We might even be able to do a full payment on it. Um, cause obviously I need to cover my overheads for spending, you know, the money to the assay office, spending money to, um, you know, for shipping, uh, to the assay office and then paying shipping back plus VAT and all of that part of us. So let me know. Um, there are deals to be have. Um, I am open-minded. Um, I'll put my, um, what I call my work, uh, <laughs> email below, which is contact at acebullion.co.uk, or you can go and visit my website and, uh, fill in the form. Um, and then, uh, just put whatever you like, uh, just make sure you put your, um, ID in. So that way I know who I'm going to speak with, um, you know, so I don't know if it was a colonel, say put the colonel, um, and so on and so forth. 
Anyway, right, well, that's enough of my rambling, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I covered a bunch of topics. I, I showed you a few of my notes that I have. Uh, you got lucky I didn't bring out my coin books. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the, these have been saved. I've uh, piled them up. I've marked them. So they're up for sale. Um and uh, I do have a, a generic price in mind uh, per one, and that's based upon what the current values are. So, um, and obviously, you know, if you buy more than one, you get a better price for shipping because I just combine them all. So there you go. Right. Thank you. Talk with you later. Happy birthday uh, to my, uh, my big boy again. And uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday with something very different and uh it may or may not appeal to you it will probably hit a a different uh, audience for pouring so anyway bye for now